is done. Love this new skiing game I got. Oh man. You gotta wait. You gotta wait, ski game. I have to extend my project access here. My access. I need to extend my membership. Oh yeah, I gotta go back and copy that stupid project name. Okay, here we go. Paste, submit. All right, that should be that. Okay, now it's time to ski. Again? All right. Gotta go my access again. Hold on, Steve. Game. You gotta wait. I gotta go back and copy this stupid project name again. Extend my project. Hopefully now that should be it. Now maybe I'll get to do some skiing. crazy with these project renewals right now. They are making me lose my mind. It's like, I can't get anything important done. I try and do something and it interrupts me. Oh yeah, I know about those things. You deal with them too? Yeah, yeah, I hate those, but I've got worked out. Maybe I can help you out. What do, what do you got going on? You got a solution? Yeah, I mean, maybe you can get some sort of trade going on. Dude, I, I would love to work a trade. Like, you like food? I love sandwiches, man. You like Sam? Okay, yeah. man, I'll tell you what. If you would deal with these project renewals for me, mm -hmm. I would bring you a sandwich every single day. A whole new world. Oh, yeah. That sounds good, man. Yeah? Deal. You're into you that? Got a deal. Okay, awesome. So yeah. then let's definitely do that. Okay. For sure. Awesome. All right, man. I will. Sounds good. I'll see you soon then, man. All right. Okay. Sounds good. Talk to you later. Potatoes, potatoes, peppers. It's gotta be around here. Pumpernickel. It's bread. Ah. Artisan bread. And seeds, classic French. All right, pumpernickel, turkey. All right, so there's oven roasted, honey roasted, smoked, uncured, or baked, cracked black pepper, oh, and mesquite. Oh, two different kinds of smoke. Oh boy, this sandwich thing is a lot of work. All right, I'm gonna get the honey smoked. Now we need cheese. I didn't mention cheese. Do you think he likes something spicy? I don't know. Seems like he'd be a guy that likes spicy cheese, maybe. Every sandwich needs cheese. What's a standby? What's everybody like? Where's the American? So there's cheddar, pepper jack. All right, American cheese, turkey, and some pumpernickel. All right. Dude, Frank, I got this cube one, too.
so while John's out there making my sandwiches and whatnot, uh, I should probably get to building the UI flow that I'm going to use in order to automate uh, handling his My Access subscriptions. So I'm here at the My Flows page, and I'm just going to start by creating a new one. And uh, I'm going to create an automated flow because I want these to trigger whenever I get an email. And so for the name, I'll, I'll have this be um, UI flow demo for now. Okay, so I'm looking for uh, Outlook. Specifically, I want when a new email arrives. Sorry, I'm using when a new email is flagged because I have a rule set up in my uh, inbox in order to flag emails that are related to the uh, My Access subscriptions. Okay, I'm going to go first into the advanced options of the trigger, and that's where I want to um, specify that I'm looking for to trigger this flow based on emails from uh, a specific email address, and that is the notification email provider that sends out all these uh, renewal requests. Okay, there it is. I'll select that there. Cool. Now, what I want to do is take the body of the email and store it as a variable for later. So now I'm going to add a variable. Um, see, I want to go to, I believe, initialize variable first. And um, I'm going to call this project to renew. Because what I'm going to do is I want to take the body of the email which I'll show you here, and I'm going to actually split this HTML body of this email after the account part and right before the end date so that what I end up getting is just the project name because that's what I'm going to end up uh, using in order to renew the project later. So I'll set this to string, and for the initial value I'm going to take this uh, dynamic expression that I have. And this is the expression that's splitting before and after the um, relevant part. Oops, I believe I need to actually click add, add this here, that expression. There we go. Great, so now that's splitting um, and storing the name of the project in this variable called project to renew. Now I'm gonna add the UI flow step where I'm going to send the project to renew in order to actually have it complete the steps uh, in the web browser. So I'm going to look for a UI flow. I'm selecting UI flow for web because it's actually a website that I'm going to be automating. Now I need to select the UI flow and since I don't have it created yet, I'm going to create a new UI flow. We'll call this um, auto renew my subs. Okay, my access. Um, for the base URL, I'm going to use the, uh, I have a URL already copied, which is the URL of the website where you renew these, all these uh, subscriptions. Okay, now I'll click Launch Recorder, which is going to bring up the Selenium IDE. Selenium IDE is an editor where I can actually create the recording of the steps that will go through the, the web pages and the clicks and uh, the various events um, in order to actually automate the process that we're going through. So I'll start by clicking on record and this is gonna open me open a browser to the base URL that I specified previously. So just like John had to do all those times, um, I'm going to need to once go through this process by starting by clicking on extending my project notification, uh, project subscriptions. Here is where I'm going to enter the name of the project that I want to subscribe to. But um, while I'm recording the Selenium project, I'm just going to take this from, uh, from one of the emails just as a placeholder for now until later where I can tell the Selenium ID how to get this programmatically. Okay, so now I'll select the, uh, the subscription that I want to renew from the dropdown and click Submit. Okay, and now that's successfully submitted, so I can go back to the Selenium IDE and press stop. 
Okay, so now we have all of the steps that occurred during my recording um, in order to submit that request. The problem is uh, certain elements that I clicked on, well, it, Selenium identifies them by ID. And in this case, for instance, it has this long ID equals field dash F72, blah, blah, blah. The problem is next time I open that page, this ID is dynamically generated, so it's going to be different. So I need to use um, a query language called XPath, which will allow me to programmatically identify the elements that I'm looking for. And so I already have those stored in a notepad over here. So for instance, what I can do is take this um, XPath selector and paste it into the type area here, okay? So what this selector does is it's looking for an element with an ID starting with the word field dash and then an ID that ends with the words projects requested to end, uh, to extend rather. And that will allow the Selenium IDE to find, uh, to find the element even though it'll have a slightly different uh, ID generated next time. And then in the value where I, that I want it to type, I'm going to put um, project to renew, just like I typed in the um, in the API flow that I created earlier in the variable name, um, because this is how the Selenium IDE is going to know where to put that variable that I stored earlier, and it's going to type it in there. Um, okay, the next X path I need is when I'm pressing enter. Um, in order to select the um, to select the the option from the drop down that, that appears, I need to add a CSS selector here as well. And this one is is looking for basically when that highlighted item comes up after I type my search, there's an ID. It has the ID that starts with type ahead and ends with option zero, and that means I'm taking the first option from that list. Finally, it clicks on submit request button um, and then should be done. So we can test this, uh, try running this right now just to see what happens. So we press play, it, opens up the, it clicks on the button like we said, here's where it's going to paste um, project to renew. Now it's not going to have the project yet since we're not, we haven't actually triggered the flow. Oh, okay. So I have, I have an element in here that still has the wrong ID. And actually, I think this is a click that I don't need to have. So I'm, I'm going to stop playing right now. I'm just going to delete this. But this is one another one that has an ID that is programmatically defined. And actually, I, I don't think I need this step, so I'm just going to delete it. Now I'm going to click, click play. This is sort of a process of figuring out you know, which elements um, you know, what's, what's the actual CSS specifying the elements? How can you get the Selenium IDE to find those elements by where, where it starts with and ends with? And again, okay, it looks like it's working. It's pasted in here. Of course, it's not finding anything, so um, it's not going to progress, but I can stop this for now, and I'm, I'm confident that this is working properly. So I'm going to click Save, and then I'm going to go back to my flow. Great, so I've got it here. In the project to renew, it, it, we can see that my input is already specified here, just like I typed in there, and that's where I can select my variable project to renew. And I'll select the browser that I want to use, and it's I'm going to use Microsoft Edge. I'll click Save. And now, next time John gets his uh, email, his inbox about renewing my access subscriptions, this flow will automatically trigger and and open up a browser and go through those steps and renew the project for him.
five minutes later. What's up, Dylan? Good morning, man. <laughs> I'm done. Hey, man. Oh, uh, hey. Uh, I just wanted to come up, by man? and say I really appreciate you uh, taking care of those renewal requests for me, and I brought your sandwich, but it, it looks like you already got a few. Uh, yeah, I always have a few sandwiches. You do? All right, well, I mean, here it is, man. Uh, Thanks, man. I appreciate you taking care of that for Anytime. me. Anytime. All right. Thanks. All right, catch you next time. Pumpernickel? Hey, thanks for helping me out with those reports, Bill. All right, guys, and so that was another video, a skit style video, bringing it back. Uh, Dylan decided to join us this time. Dylan is a data scientist on the team. I'm going to go ahead and let you introduce yourself, Dylan. Why don't you tell the people a little bit about you and also what made you decide to come and do this video with us? All right, so I'm a data scientist on Power Automate team. I've been working here for about two years and I do uh, with working with all the telemetry and do analytics to understand, you know, how our users are using the application. Other than that, I have a two-year-old son at home who is just hilarious and, you know, he and I both love music. I, I play piano, that's another one of my hobbies, and then outside that, uh, I like to do mountain biking for exercise. But, um, you know, I just kind of had my mind blown by how amazing UI flows are. And I'm constantly around the office like, oh my god, and then people are like, Dylan, are you okay? It's <laughs> like, true, it's true. And then I just say, well, UI flows are amazing. It's like people don't understand. <laughs> I need to just t shout it from the mountaintops about how great it is because a few years or so, I'm not going to have to do any work. I'm just going to have UI flows doing everything for me. And, so. and seeing how you've done this, I believe you. I totally it's true. Believe it's going to be, it's, it's, we're getting there. Awesome. Awesome. Well, Dylan, man, thank you so much for coming and joining us. We hope that you guys enjoyed this example. It's a little fun, a little tongue-in-cheek, but it shows you some real possibilities and some real power of what this technology can do. And so if you want to be like Dylan, go ahead and check out some of the links in the description. We'll have some of the, uh, some of the expressions down there for you, some links to some helpful information, and you too can become an office superstar and get four sandwiches a day. All right, you guys know what to do. Click like, click subscribe. Much love from me. See you in the next one.